everyone, welcome to the first tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Enscape. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to install Enscape as well as connecting Revit. So, first you gotta do is visit their website right here, fill up the necessary forms here. Now, do what you need, but for me, I did Revit and Archicad. Next, simply click this button right here and you'll be getting this email. Once that, again, click the button right here that's available in the email that you received and you will then be transferred to this one right here. There. Now, of course, simply click the button again to get this installer right here. After downloading, simply click OK, sorry, click that and just keep on clicking next. Well, as for me, since I've already installed Enscape, there's no need for me to go through this one. Now, once everything has been successfully installed, you will be getting this new pop-up notification right here whenever you open Revit. You can click this and click close if it starts to bug you, but for me, I like showing I like this one showing up every time. So just click close. Let's try using the sample architecture project that Revit has. You'll notice here, there's a new ribbon for us to choose from, which is Enscape. This means that the Enscape has been successfully installed along with the pop-up notification from earlier. So simply click this one and here, just click start. Now, since my trial has already expired and I already have my own license, which I'm going to input right now. All right, it works. So I now have my Educator Enscape license. We'll go ahead and press OK here. All right, seems hanging a bit, but since we got through this window, it would mean that everything has successfully installed and here it is. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. Everything looks good so far. The grass looks awesome. Let's look at the reflections. Okay, everything seems good. Everything successfully installed. Now, let's go back to Revit and check the configurations there a little bit. Now, back here in Revit, you will notice that there's a drop box here with a lot of things listed for us. And this is the same as the 3D view here that we have in our project browser. So if I were to click living room, for example, it will automatically update real time in the Enscape. So let's go back and switch to Enscape. There we go. Here's the kitchen. Let's try deleting something from Revit, like the roof, for example. Let's see if that also changes in real time. Go into 3D right here, zoom in here a bit, let's delete this roof, delete all elements. Alright, so everything seems to update real time. Okay, and that's it for this video, which is the installation of Enscape. If you find this tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe, it will help me a lot in the long run. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.